What's going on gamers? One of my students asked me, what were your biggest limiting beliefs up until this point and how did you break each one of them? Very interesting question. My first limiting belief was that I can't make any good serious money through video editing because I used to look around and I'd see all of my favorite influencers and they'd be talking about drop shipping, crypto, Forex. They'd be talking about everything but video editing. And it's not like I'm seeing video editors rolling around in Bugattis on Instagram very often, right? The thing is though, after doing some digging, there is literally so many baller video editors making really sick money. It's just generally speaking, they're a bit more introverted and they're more creatively inclined, which means they're not flexing all the time on Instagram like a lot of these loud influencers do. And on the most part, the reason why they started video editing in the first place is because they didn't want to be in the spotlight, which is totally fair. If you are a bit more introvert and you like working alone, you don't necessarily like putting yourself in front of camera, you might seek to become a video editor, obviously. So sure, video editing might not be as flashy as some of the other make money online hustles, but I'll tell you what, it does genuinely fucking work. Because if you think about the cash flow pipeline, right? The creator economy is currently worth $125 billion and it's expected to surpass 550 billion in the year of 2025, which is insane. The creator economy is continuing to grow massively. So while a lot of the normies might be thinking, I'm gonna be the next Logan Paul. If you are a smart chess player, you might think perhaps I'm not the next Logan Paul, mainly because I don't film hanging court is in woods in Japan. However, I can position myself between someone like Logan Paul, hopefully not Logan Paul, I pray for you if you end up working for Logan Paul, and the flow of cash. You wanna put yourself in the middle. Video editing is incredible for that. You're responsible for projecting the image of the creator out to their audience, which means you can actually build a really good connection with some of your favorite influencers while making sick money. The next limiting belief I had was that video editing is oversaturated. This one annoys me so I hear this so much. It's oversaturated, Sam. Oh, fuck me. Sure, if you go onto fiverr.com, you will see plenty of amazing video editors on there. But quite frankly, 98% of them are absolute fucking garbage. And if you watch my Fiverr Fights video over on my second channel, you'll see exactly what I mean. My philosophy is, and always will be, you don't have to compete with the pigs rolling around in the mud. There is a lot of video editors. They label themselves as a video editor, but there is very, very few excellent ones. And there is very, very few who understand how to position and leverage themselves to make good money. They don't know how to build an awesome client relationship. They don't know how to go above and beyond in their skill set to start getting paid the big bucks. And quite frankly, this one annoys me because you could apply it to any side hustle. Like, oh, YouTube's oversaturated, drop shipping is oversaturated, but the rule remains the same across the board. Sure, it's oversaturated with people who like to daydream that they're a video editor or a drop shipper, but when push comes to shove, when it's time to put in the work, 99% of people just aren't willing to do it. They're not your competition. Unless you're a pussy. If you're a pussy, then yeah, you should be worried, but like you got bigger issues there, dude. If you're genuinely about your craft and you genuinely want to become excellent at what you do, you will be competitive, I promise you that. And not only will you be competitive, you'll most likely win a lot of the competitions because frankly, guys, most people are just lazy. Most people aren't willing to invest time and money back into their skill to become the very best at it. The third limiting belief I had is I used to believe that I was a natural natural born loser. Like I was just born into the world and it's like, yeah, I'm just not supposed to be Chad. I'm just supposed to be like, you know, the nerdy guy you saw gets picked on and like, you know, I have a quiet life over there somewhere where I'm not really bothering anyone. And I genuinely used to believe that. How sad is that? Like when I was thinking about these, these questions, that just hit me as like, I actually used to believe that my entire life, I just had to be some bozo. I thought I was gonna be the guy who didn't ever attract the girls, never made the money, didn't get smiled at by the coffee barista, wouldn't have the awesome friends, wouldn't have the fulfilling purpose, none of that. I genuinely used to believe that. And 
the thing is, that is a mental prison which I self-imposed onto myself and I didn't realize it just yet. It took me a while to figure it out. It took me actually a while of just stacking up small wins over a long period of time to realize like, oh yeah, any success that you really want in life is just a series of small wins tallied up every single day up until you have the overnight success breakthrough moment and then everyone's like, oh, you're so lucky, Sam, you're so lucky. That tilts me as well, guys. When you do start to get successful, you're gonna have a bunch of pussies messaging you shit like, oh, you're whatever, man, you just got lucky, dude. This mental prison was self-imposed. I didn't have to believe that I was a natural born loser because most likely, man, the world is waiting for you to just unlock your fucking inner savage and to just go fucking hard at whatever it is you choose to do. I know I talk about video editing, but whatever your pursuit of excellence is in life, maybe you go through different seasons. Maybe you're in a pursuit of excellence in the fucking gym. Maybe you wanna get absolutely fucking jacked. Good for you, as long as you literally just fucking unlock your inner savage and just be a fucking madman, ruthlessly sacrificing for the sake of reaching that goal, you don't have to be a natural born loser. Because when you start to unlock your inner savage, that is where the fucking champions are made. And you'll start to wake up. And when you look at yourself in the mirror, you no longer see that little pussy. You start to have a little bit more self-love. But you do have to brute force your way through the trenches and you do have to take risks. But when you're doing a pursuit of excellence like this, having a strong network around you is one of the most important things because think about it. What is one of the most painful things you can experience? It's like getting cast out of your tribe, right? Do you remember when you had a group of friends at school and then you fucking fell out with the, the leader of the group and then all of them just cast you out of the group and stopped talking to you? how fucking painful that was. If you have a strong network of guys, specifically who are trying to do the same as you, so for example, video editing, they're trying to get excellent at video editing. They're not going to want to hang out with you unless you're genuinely trying your best and you're giving back to the tribe, you know? So having a network like that is all of the motivation you need to literally never give up. Because if you gave up, you would probably be cast out of your tribe because your tribe just start thinking, dude, this guy's, he says he wants to be a 10K a month video editor, but it's not really about it. He doesn't put the work in. So eventually they just cast you out and that's really painful. So my point is guys, if you never give up, you genuinely can't fail and your network makes it impossible for you to give up. I'll say this much, my network has been so important to me. I don't think I would have achieved much of anything without a strong network. If you want access to the best video editing network work on the entire internet, then you should consider entering my Academy of Excellence. I will take you from a complete beginner to a godlike Chad video editing god, printing cash online, traveling the world, creating dope shit, and getting fucking paid. You'll get 25 hours of course content showing you how to video edit from complete beginner all the way to advanced After Effects, animations, so on and so forth. But then I don't just teach you that, I teach you how to make money through video editing. So how to negotiate, how to leverage yourself, how to position yourself, all of the things which your oversaturated competition do not understand, right? If that sounds interesting to you, take a look at the first link in the description. Take a look at the page, see if it's right for you. I hope this was helpful. Thank you Academy member Sabo for the question. Take care guys. Hey!